about a week ago, Miss Jen Phelps put up a video about how drugstore makeup is not quite up to par to what it used to be. And so that kind of sparked a little bit of conversation in the beauty community, especially since most of us want really affordable, good makeup. And I had one of you ask if I could do a full face of makeup with OG products or Holy Grail products from way back. So I went as far back as I possibly could into my collection to find as many really good products. And this is the look that I came up with, which I think turned out really good. I decided to go full glam because I might as well. I don't do my makeup that often during the week, unless I'm going somewhere, unless I'm filming for you all. So this turned out really good. So if you'd like to see how I go from this to this full face of makeup, then just keep watching because we're gonna get into that. Before we do, I wanna say hello to you all. And if you're new to my channel, I hope that you do decide to subscribe if you enjoy the content. Also, I appreciate all of the rest of you being here that are always with me. It just helps me out so much. Everybody, if you wouldn't mind giving me a thumbs up, that also helps my channel grow and different people get to see my video, the more engagement that I get. I also want to take just one second to show you what I have on for a shirt and a picture right here. I get asked every single video about all the makeup that I wear, my fingernails, my jewelry, everything. All of that's gonna be listed and linked down below, along with all of this makeup storage that I have right here. A lot of you ask me about that, my acrylic ones, and then these towers that are my makeup organization, they will be listed for you as well. All right, without further ado, let's get into this. I'm gonna kind of do a side-by-side -side talk over so that you can see all of this makeup that I'm wearing. Starting with the primer that I use, this is going to be no surprise to any of you because I use this so much on my channel and I refer to it on my channel a lot. It's been out for years. This is the Revlon Prime Plus Perfecting and Smoothing Makeup Primer, Makeup Smoothing Primer. This one says complex infused with vitamin B5 and hyaluronic acid. I love the texture of this. This could not be a better texture for me. What it's going to do, it's going to fill in all of my pores. And you know what? I find that I like this as a gripping primer for my makeup better than I like the e.l.f. ones. It just has that feel to it, like it's going to really get a hold of that makeup. Plus, it makes my makeup last a really long time. So I do love that one so much. Then I went in with my eyeshadow primer, which of course, it's either Jason Wu or one other that I'll show you in the next video. Jason Wu came out with this such a long time ago, but it continues to be one that I put in every video practically. Two reasons. One is that it is opaque, which I think is so important. So this is the light one. I don't even know if he has any other colors anymore because last time I was on the website for Target, he didn't. This one's the light. You can see that it's quite light, but not quite white. And so it's an off-white creamy color. It does the job so good in taking out all the discoloration that is on my eyes. But also what it does is it gives a really good base for the actual color of your eyeshadow to show through. So sometimes if we just go ahead on our eyes and we don't use an eyeshadow primer, the color of our eyes or the discoloration on our eyelids is going to show up more than the actual color would if we used an eyeshadow primer. That's the other reason that I like using it. Now you're going to see in the video that I spray my brush with this. This is actually what I used for a primer and a setting spray. The reason that I spray my brush or my sponge with a spray is because I find that with my mature skin it helps it to blend out a little bit easier it just kind of melts a little bit easier into my skin it's not as thick it just it really helps a lot for me I've been doing it for years this is the ColourPop no filter setting spray or spray this will separate on you so you have to shake it and then it comes together and it makes just a gorgeous spray and at the end you'll see me spray this again and it does have quite a nice mist to it I really do like the mist on it it's quite fine it's not as fine as some of them out there, but it's pretty darn good. And then I will just go over it with my makeup sponge and dab at the very last to melt everything together. I also will take this as a setting spray. I'll spray my sponge and then I will dab underneath my eyes to give it a little bit of extra hydration because this is really good for that as well. So you can use this to refresh your makeup during the day and you can use this to set your makeup, prime your face, 
all of the good things. This is a very good all around makeup setting spray. However, if you do have oily combo, you might want to skip this one because this one is for people with kind of dry normal skin. ColourPop does have another one that you might be interested in, which I will list right below this one. I can't remember the name of it right now, but it doesn't have any of that extra little hydration in it. So this is a great one for anybody that is has got maturing dry skin. It's going to help keep your makeup looking pretty all the way through the day. And you can refresh and have your makeup look like it's hydrated again during the day if you do dry out like I do. Also, this is absolutely no surprise to any of you. Pixie by Petra Color Corrector. This one is in Brightening Peach. They do have an apricot one for if you're a little bit darker skin. And I just put a brush down in there because it's hard for me to get my finger down in there. And then I will put this anywhere I need it to go. This is such a creamy, beautiful formula. I've been talking about it for years as well. I think this formula is one that has not been beat anywhere across the board. High-end luxury drugstore for me. This is the one that I reach for over and over again to take care of the discoloration before I go in with my concealer. Now, do you have to use a color corrector? Absolutely not. But if you have very dark circles like I do, you might want to look into it because what it does is it helps you put a very thin layer of the color corrector on. And this is quite thick and it is, and it will set down, which is nice, but it blends out really well. And the peach just takes away the purple, kind of opposite ends of the spectrum there on the color wheel, which is blue takes away orange, you know, and cancels it out. But we're talking about, you know, if you have purple or very dark circles. So this is very brightening on me. I've loved it forever and I will not be without it. This is a staple in my makeup. And again, I use this one all the time when I'm talking to you guys. I think this probably may have come out 10 years ago because I found it when I very first started my channel and I've been on YouTube for about eight years going on nine years. So this is a really, really good one. Now let's talk about this foundation. It's the Maybelline Matte Fit and Poreless. Now you would think that since I just told you all that I am a dry skin girl that I would not choose a matte foundation to go over my skin. Well, this one does not act like the typical matte foundations that we used to have where everything just kind of felt like it was drying almost immediately when it goes on your face. This one is beautiful. I love this foundation and have loved it since it came out probably 10 or more years ago. It has consistently been the one that I have chosen, especially in the summertime, when I get a little bit of break apart through my nose and through my chin. This is the drugstore makeup that I'm going to choose. And it goes on so pretty whether you use a sponge or whether you use a brush. A brush is gonna give you a little bit more coverage. This, I would say, is medium buildable coverage, but yet it doesn't look like you've got this mask on your face. And going back to the old makeup that we used to use that did make it look like you had a mask on your face, this one is just one of those ones that you can sheer it out with that spray, put a little bit more spray on your sponge or on your makeup brush, it will sheer out, it will make you look like you just have a very light coverage that evens out your skin. Or you can put two coats of it on with your brush and you will look more like you have that full cover. Now, I always go in at the very end and dab with the makeup sponge to make sure that I've gotten all the excess picked up. That's also going to help you look like you have very natural makeup on. This has been one that has been tried and true and tested and people go back to it over and over again. Very long wearing. I can wear this for probably 12 to 14 hours get the good wear out of it. I have it in two colors. One is 115 and 222. And the reason that I mix this is because 115 is light, but it's a little bit on the yellow side. But 222 has that kind of just a cool tone to it, almost a sallow color to it. And that's not the greatest word, but it's the only word I can think of right now that describes that if I mix these two together, and you can because they're so inexpensive, but if I mix these two together, they are my perfect color. And you can tell that it's just a color that works really good for me. So really love this. And yes, my hands are lighter today than my face yet as I'm showing everything. I'm doing a lot of self tanning, but right now I'm out of the self tan hack. So my face is a little bit tanner than and the rest of my body. When I was going through my drawer, I immediately grabbed the e.l.f. Hydrating Camo Concealer. The original, I could not do. It was so drying, but once they came out with the hydrating one, it was perfection. 
I love this. It covers very well because of the bad dark circles that I have, but at the same time, I can shear this out enough and the coverage still stay there so that I don't get any creasing underneath my eyes with too much concealer. That's one of the reasons that I do like using the color corrector first, but those really thin layers are key to getting a really nice look underneath your eyes without looking crinkly as you age. This is a wonderful one at the drugstore. I would put this up against every single high-end or luxury concealer that I love. I love the Natasha Denona, and I also love the Hourglass one. Those are two that I would say were very comparable to this one from e.l.f. No creasing. If you set it down with a little powder, yes, I know, powder is not our best friend, but I'm going to show you one that I absolutely love here in a second. And it just works really well at covering and keeping that coverage all day long. This is a beautiful concealer. And I knew immediately when I was going to go way back to finding the best drugstore makeup that this is the one that was going to go in here. This one and the Catrice one. And I actually did have to mix these two together today to get my right color. The Catrice is going to go in the next video. So I'm not going to spend a lot of time on that, but so you know that I love both of them and I had to use a little bit different color. This is light peach. I'm thinking I'm going to get the peach one and it will probably be a better color. I like to have my concealer be the same color as my foundation. Just works better on mature skin instead of, you know, making it really light through this area and drawing attention to our under eyes. Now, also one of the things that I absolutely love at the drugstore that was brought out oh, years ago, I would say this isn't... Um, like way, way back, but this goes back at least probably six years, and that is these e.l.f. Bite Size Palettes. And I have three with me today. There are tons of these. This one is called Cream and Sugar, and then this one is called Rose Water, and this one is called I See a You. Um, I see you. These are beautiful. I used this one today to go over top of the liner that I put on and smudged out just this color right here in the blue just to brighten everything up and set my liner in place. These are super creamy. They are very wearable and I did use the two right here to create the actual eyeshadow look that I have on. They're just so gorgeous and so easy to work with. Now sometimes when you get a shadow you find that you have to be very careful because you have to use a super light touch because they're overly saturated. I don't feel like that happens with the e.l.f. ones. I feel like they are not as saturated as you would find out there, but I think that that's a good thing, especially for people that aren't makeup artists. Sometimes we can get carried away, but these help us not to do that. This one right here is kind of cool tone taupe on there. So pretty on these, and I really love that you can take your time with them and they don't have to be super bright. That one's kind of bright because it is a metallic, but it is what I used underneath my eyes right there. Let's try this blue right here too. This lighter blue, this is gonna be a little bit more pigmented as well. I love these. I think they blend out well and they're very easy to work with. And I think that if you have been wondering about them through the years and thought, oh, how can something that's only $3 be very quality? Well, they really are. And especially if you use an eyeshadow primer, these are going to be on for you all day long. I really like these. All right. And then going over what I used for an eyeliner, this is the Ultimate LA Girl Ultimate Intense Stay Auto Liner. So it's a mechanical liner. And this one is in totally teal. And like I said, you're not really seeing the exact teal color. You probably see it more on the clip I give you here. I decided to go over it with powder because that just gives you a super duper all day long grip and it's still quite warm here in the 90s. Um, so this is very creamy when you first put it on, but then it's going to sit down. And what I choose to do is I choose to smudge these out just a little bit, as you'll see when I'm putting it on. I smudge them out a little bit and the smudging seems to help them stay even longer as well. I really love these. They have several colors and I would have done a blue if I had had a blue, but I didn't. So I did the teal and then the blue on top of it so that you could see how I kind of do an extra pop of liner color there for an extra zing on your eyes. Just really is nice. I also wanted to tell you that the only thing I did in my brows today was the Essence Make Me Brow. This is for ashy, I think this is called ashy browns or something like that. I really enjoy having this because some days I just don't feel like 
you know, penciling my eyebrows in. And I went to look for my favorite eyebrow pencil and I didn't have it. I'm out of it. I've been using other things and testing other things, which I'll let you know right now, it's the NYX Micro Brow. It will be in the next one because I'll go ahead and repurchase it. The NYX Micro Brow, like no other ones I've ever seen, and I use Ash Brown in that one as well, is just one that really does a great job. But this brow tint, has a great spoolie on it. I'll show you how teeny tiny that is on there. Has a wonderful spoolie on it. It will catch every single brow hair you have and it will glue them into place. I have several gray brow hairs on this side and they need covered because it looks really weird if I don't do that. So this one catches them, coats them, and this is all I use to do my brows today. So I don't have a really precision brow look today, but I do have them set in place and they look very groomed. So I love this quick, easy, simple came out a long time ago as well i don't remember how long ago but i want to say it was like five six years ago so we're talking really good stuff that has stand stood the test of time for me and if you haven't tried it yet you might want to try it on my upper waterline i had to grab one of my favorite pencils and that is the nyx epic wear liner stick this lasts a super long time this one is called metal black metal and these are great because they're super creamy just like the la colors but these ones stand the test in your waterline and i just you know look down and then i'll go in there and i'll line that top waterline i do that because then you're not lining the top lash line and you're not taking away from the great real estate that you have up there you know and especially if you have a hooded eye you don't want to use too much liner on the top because then you're not going to be able to see your eyeshadow at all even when you look down or even when you blink so this is beautiful i've loved this for a long time it comes in a ton of different colors they have some really bright vibrant colors but this one is great for me for that top waterline i just really like it and then for bronzer and everybody is going gaga for cream bronzer anymore for me there's only one that really stands the test of time at the drugstore as far as you know going way way back and that is from kiko milano this is the sculpting touch stick contour however i use it for a bronzer because for me and being a cool toned gal this one just really looks good as you blend it out it looks more like a bronzer but it looks like a really beautiful bronzer color that isn't too orange and that is why i love it super creamy super easy to blend out i just take the brush and i will go across the top of it like this and then tap it into my palm so that i don't get too much on my forehead as i'm using it love this stuff i've been using it forever and you can use it as a contour if you want to you just make it a little bit more stark it's just really beautiful and this one is in chocolate all right blush that was a no-brainer for me as well i pulled two of them out and i wanted to show them both to you i have luminous berry and i have sparkling rose so let's go for luminous berry first and these are incredibly beautiful luminous berry is kind of just your typical rose color and then sparkling rose is the color that i use today why i love these is because they aren't fade away blushes cream blushes you know now that we have so many blushes that are hitting the market a lot of them are marketed as the blur black blah, 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 can't say that the blur blush and they want that look but they want it to fade away what i like about this is that it doesn't fade away sometimes your blush just goes away halfway through the day and you're looking in the mirror and you're like where did my blush go the other thing is this provides an incredible base if you want to use a powder brush blush i can't talk powder blush on top of it and they have a ton of these colors and especially on their website still I hope that they don't ever discontinue these because I go back to these over and over again and I think they're only like four or five dollars so this is one that I say go for it find your color use it you will love it in between the cream blush that I'm going to show you and the powder blush that I'm going to show you I did go in with this Koki highlighter and this one is in rosy this is such an interesting product because you put your finger in there and you get up all of this cream product it's not marketed as a cream it's marketed just as a highlighter but it is a cream and then you put it on and you then get this super beautiful luxurious looking highlighter i think that i can almost compare this to the one that i just showed last week that was the say highlighter it's a lot like that it 
dries down to a powder finish and I love that. It is on there. And once that powder is there, you get this luminous look to your cheek. You can see that I have it on. I put it underneath the other blush I'm gonna show you in just a second. It's very, very pretty. And the, this rosy color for me was absolutely perfect. There's one that is the lighter white, you know, whiter color, and then there's a golden color. There might be even another color, I'm not sure. But this one was perfect for me, and this is the one that I reach for over and over again, and I forget about it. Isn't that funny that we do makeup like this or videos like this, and we remember, oh my gosh, I think I have that in my drawer, or oh my gosh, I think I had that in the past and how much I loved it. So yes, this one is a beautiful one. And then the powder blush that I just tapped out because I wanted to show you both cream and powder in this video was from Rimmel and this is their maxi blush and this is in the color third base this is the color that I choose over and over again even though I have another one in here I'll show you that one as well this one is called wild card so I have two of them and again I think these are like eight dollars I'm not exactly sure how much they are but for third base, not too much color so that you're going to overdo your blush again. Now, the one that is wild card, I would say that one's quite a bit more pigmented just because it's a brighter color. But what's beautiful again about these, you put these on top of a cream or put them on top of your foundation where your foundation is still a little bit tacky, you're going to have these on all day. And I would say, yes, you need to spray them after you put them on and you're going to have them even more secure on your skin. But these are super creamy, super silky, and they blend like a dream. I love this blush formula and have loved it since it came out years and years ago. And you know, when I don't declutter something after this many years, you know that it's good. Or I've gone out and I've repurchased it again. It's good stuff. Let's talk about what I put on my lips. I know that there is the new Maybelline Lifter lip liners out there and everybody's talking about them. And they are fabulous. They are really good. But I still am somebody that loves the Maybelline Color Sensational lip liners. These are an automatic liner. The other ones aren't. I love how blendable and how beautiful, beautiful, how beautiful these are. Holy cow. How beautiful these are and how creamy they are. How luscious the colors are. There are so many colors. One of the colors that I really love is Gone Grayish, and I, if I get to, you know, feeling like I want to be extra, I will actually put Gone Grayish down here as a contour right underneath my lip right there, and then buff it out, and then put another color like Almond Rose, which is what this one is, on top of that. This is one of those ones that you can press together for an ombre look, blend it in a little bit. You can fill in your whole entire lip and use gloss over top of it or just use it as a matte one these are gorgeous i absolutely love these but this almond rose color fits almost every lipstick that i use and then the lipsticks that i use this is full of maybelline because i'm a maybelline girl love maybelline milani all of the ogs revlon all of those they're so good this one is their color sensational lipsticks and oh my goodness when i get these out i remember how much i love it mauve it up this is a deep, dark color. This is a berry, fuchsia, purpley mixture of just yumminess. And I put this on the outside of my lips just a little bit to give a duo color lip look to, to my lips today. And then this one is Born With It. And these two colors together, they just look so pretty. I mean, the one on top of the other one, it just gives this beautiful ombre look to my lips that I absolutely love. Creamy. They are not matte. They are satin, but they are going to last on your lips. It's funny that as we get into this age of the lip balm colors or lip oils or that kind of thing, we're getting into colors that just don't, I find, just don't stay very well on my lips. Whereas you do something like this, the OG favorites that have been around forever and ever, and you find that you have that lasting power. I mean, you know, because it's a satin, it's not gonna last all day, especially if you're eating or drinking, but you're gonna get a good three hours plus out of this if you're just out and about for the day without doing a ton of eating or drinking. Love, love, love this. The topper that I put on top of it was one of the OG glosses that we can still get. I found these the other day again at Walmart and I'm like, oh, I gotta go dig mine out. And so this is the L'Oreal Infallible Pro Gloss 8-Hour Wear. Do I think it's 8 hours? I think it could be. 
very very easily these are beautiful and especially if you i don't have anywhere to put this especially if you're going to put them on top of a lipstick just that bright luminous look that we can put on top of our lips right in the center there and i have loved these forever how is it that we completely forget that we love something so much and this is a very not super thick but in its consistency it doesn't go anywhere because of its formula i love these i actually have another color i think the first one i showed you was petal let me make sure i don't want to misspeak here nope this first color is blush and then the next color is suede now suede's got this kind of oh i don't even know how to explain it it's got this kind of chrome multi-chrome color in there when you put it on top it looks a little bit like pink but at the same time it can shift into a copper looking color and if you've been having trouble with all the lip oils and the very thin lip gloss formulas and you're an 80s girl like me that just loves the good lip glosses now i'm not talking lip glosses that make that nasty stuff when you go like that in your lips and you can see that yeah 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 yucky you know what i'm talking about um this is just a good one as far as being able to keep your lipstick on too during the day not gonna bleed not gonna go anywhere i just think that this whole combination was so pretty now after i've done all that what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna touch up all of my makeup i'm gonna set it down with the powder this is flower beauty's illusion powder and this is a beautiful not just a setting powder but it's also a beautiful finishing powder and when i used this today as i was you know getting everything done i remember you know what these are the powders that we used to use i mean there has been so many powders released just recently high end and i have a bunch of them and i'm going to be bringing the review to you for all of them especially the pink powders it's like we've got a pink powder explosion right now but this one from flower beauty i know that something's going on with the flower beauty line so i would suggest to you that if you love any of their products you might want to seek them out i know that ulta sells them and you can get on their own website and look for them also there's a few of them on amazon but not much anymore i have this one in porcelain because the other colors were just too dark for me but this one will brighten up my face and make my face look really light even underneath my eyes it will give a little bit of extra light but it doesn't have any flashback it does blur out the pores it sets the makeup down absolutely beautiful without making me look like i'm super dry because i'm a dry girl beautiful compact has great packaging you get your little sponge under here which i never use but you do get a mirror which is also really nice right there and yeah this one is an exceptional one that i think could easily pass in a drugstore for a high-end powder so pretty i really feel like that one just sits right there with the charlotte tilbury flawless filter yeah i feel like it's neck and neck right there now the second to last thing i did was spray my face as i'll show you in the clip right here just sprayed my face and then went over it with the sponge to make sure everything was set that also helps to melt your makeup together color pop no filter setting spray also a priming spray refreshing spray whatever you want to call it curled my lashes and then i put on two coats of mascara and i used two different kinds of mascara this i've done for years whether or not I'm, you know, doing an OG favorite video for you or not, I've done this combo for years and years. And this is one that I find just makes my lashes super voluminous and it gives the length and it also holds the curls. So between these two, I will go in with a Maybelline Falsies Lash Lift first. And the wand on this was, is that basic um, kind of hourglassed curve natural bristled brush one and that's why i like it for the volume this one is the one that i start out with for the volume and then i'll go in with the maybelline sky high both of these have been out about the same time they came out maybelline sky high is probably your newer one this does have a bendy brush on it lots of people don't like that so i always tell you that it has a bendy brush on it just a basic silicone bristle brush but this one you can tip on the end of your mascara and then you will get super long looking eyelashes because it really does build the eyelashes to be a great length between the two of these this is my perfect mascara if i could have an hybrid somehow but the, they work together so well that i don't even care about buying both of them it's just really easy for me to use and i never forget that oh yeah i need the super volume and oh yeah i need the super length and so each of these has their properties that are wonderful and yes you could use them singly and come up with gorgeous eyelashes but together i feel like they are just the perfect mascara bomb that can make your eyelashes go to the next level so love those and that is 
it, I believe. I believe I went over everything. So I want to know down in the comment section if you have an OG favorite of your makeup that you go back to over and over again after all of the years of all makeup being released and that we are absolute nuts over makeup and we love seeing the latest and greatest thing but we also have our very favorites that over and over again we step back into hope that you did enjoy seeing all of these and i hope that you will tune into my next video where i do the same exact thing and show you all of the makeup that i absolutely still love and yes still have in my collection after all these years thank you so much for tuning in to me today i love you guys take care of yourselves and i'll see you in my next video goodbye my friends